feature in which we tell you a little bit about what to expect in the next day's newspaper. Uh, today is Tuesday, uh, July 1st, 2014. So I'll be telling you what you can find in the Wednesday, July 2nd print edition of the Peru Tribune or online tonight at perutribune.com. On our lead story, uh, Chad Abshire worked today on uh, fireworks. Uh, he's actually still wrapping this story up now. I'm re really looking forward to seeing it. Um, he's uh, gone to several fireworks stores and talked to them about uh, how their sales are going, talked to uh, the city of Peru about uh, local ordinances uh, related to fireworks, uh, got some Indiana State Police information about fireworks safety, Really just a big overview of the topic as we uh, approach 4th of July weekend. So hopefully a lot of folks will uh, learn something they didn't know about fireworks and uh, celebrate safely uh, over the weekend. Also on day one, it's pretty stacked day one and actually a lot of stuff from Chad and he'll be uh, uh, happy to tell you all about that. Um, <laughs> storm damage. Uh, Chad and I actually uh, tag teamed this one. Uh, there were some uh, pretty significant winds last night uh, coming through Miami County, near 70 miles an hour, according to the National Weather Service. And uh, he talked to police, and I talked to the estates at Eagles Point uh, about how bad that was. Um, several homes damaged. Uh, fortunately, no one injured uh, in that. Also on A1, um, actually for me, uh, just me, um, a story about uh, drug arrests. Uh, we got an update today on uh, the three Georgia men arrested. I'm sorry, that update was late last night. About three George men arrested Sunday night uh, in Miami County who apparently had 200 hits of LSD on them. Uh, pretty uh, incredible number. Uh, we got a release actually late today about uh, what the uh, effort was uh, through the weekend that we picked up on pretty quickly uh, to get so many folks arrested on US-31 on drug charges. It was called Operation Summer Heat. So uh, you can see all the numbers on that in the story or online. It's uh, really staggering uh, how many folks they were able to, uh, to catch on US-31 uh, using um, unmarked cars and uh, canine patrols. Um, also on A1, uh, Chad went to the Board of Works morning, meeting this morning uh, where two dogs were declared vicious after uh, allegedly killing a cat. Uh, really a sad story all the way around there. And finally on A1 from our friends over at the Chronicle Tribune, there was an explosion today at the Marion GM plant, at least one already confirmed dead. Uh, really terrible. Um, We'll have more on that story as it breaks, as I said, from the Chronicle Tribune. On our education page, uh, Chad did a profile of Ike Rice, uh, who is a uh, Chris and Mary Museum Museum uh, volunteer, museum, museum, museum volunteer, uh, also an IUK professor, and a uh, student of history in general uh, who lives here in Peru. Uh, really an interesting guy. I hope a lot of people will look at that report. On the sports page, we have three stories, uh, two from uh, Nick Roby and one from our friends at the Chronicle Tribune. Uh, Nick continued his series of the top ten athletes of the first half of the year in Miami County, some Peru and MAC athletes spotlighted there, and also talked to them about their favorite moments of their seasons. And uh, Matt Wilson wrote up a story on an event at Mishingomisha Country Club uh, in Marion, where an Oak Hill uh, junior uh, competed and uh, did quite well. So I uh, hope a lot of folks will take a look at that, and we'll be following him uh, through the summer as he continues to compete on the junior tour. Um, as always, you can find all those stories in tomorrow's print edition of the Peru Tribune. You can find them online tonight at perutribune.com. And you can find links to them on our Facebook and Twitter pages, which are both Peru Tribune. Uh, finally, you can find me and all of our reporters on Twitter. Until tomorrow, that's tomorrow's news. I'm Derek B. Have a great Wednesday.